Jesus is probably born, born on September 11th. No. So listen. Christ is a black man. That's right. He's a Mediterranean a, man. The white man, man is not God, and he is not the Jews, That's and right. we are the 12 tribes of Israel. But our people must get their heads out the white man's Put you. Is it you or is it me? Catch me celebrating with my people. No sleep, whole feast turning up crazy. Now tell me who you really want to be. Tell the truth, is it you or is it me? I'm just trying to kick it with my people. All gas, no slack, this that clap back. Ooh, this one for my brothers on the west side. There's a difference between Brian and College Station. Let's deal with one of the differences. Blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans stay in Brian. That's okay? right. What? When you come to College Station, white people stay in Brian. The so-called white people, okay? The white trash stay in Brian with you, all right? That's but right. then at the end of the day, what's that one brother named with the Texas A&M? Leo, he wants to be educated, act like he has a biblical understanding, but meanwhile, and try to assimilate with the other nations. But the so-called white man will never accept you, Leo. Right. That's all right? right. You will always be a wetback in his eyes. Right. You will always be a dirty Hispanic in his eyes. You will always be an illegal alien in his That's eyes, right. even if your fathers were bur are born here, all right? That's, right? That's what's wrong with our people. You want to be assimilated. Give me Proverbs 3 and 31. You up. want your oppressor to accept you so bad. But I'm going to tell you something. He will never accept you, okay? Right. He will never accept you. You only have one choice. You're going to repent and keep God's commandments, or you're going to die here in America. Okay? That's right. You see all the conflict that's going on in the Middle East? It's going to continue to escalate and escalate and escalate until nuclear war, nuclear warheads will hit America. That's right. And our people fail to realize the importance of repentance until the nukes are at the door. Right. Read what you got for Leo and Eric. That's how you know Satan is in the midst. That's Le right. They went over there to go stand in the sun to go talk about Christ, but he ain't got no Bible. He, I heard him say that Christ ain't got no color. Well, if Christ ain't got no color, why is it documented in the Bible? Right. All right? Why? Because he's assimilated. Right. He loves the white man. He wants to live in the white man's behind. Read what you got. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. You see that? The Bible says, do not envy your oppressors. So now, let's go through facts, Leo. Your oppressor sent your forefathers into captivity and forced you to be a Catholic. Right. Forced you to be a Christian. Right. All right? The, the conquistadors came over here and sick dogs on y'all. Burned y'all alive. Right. To us. Uh, your, your children's heads against stones and up. you sitting here defending them. Yeah. Read it again. The book of Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. Yeah. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. You see that? And choose none of his ways. And that's why we calling out the evil. And that's why we bold enough to speak because the Most High is dealing with us. Give me Proverbs 28 and 1. The Lord is dealing with the 12 tribes of Israel that's keeping God's commandments in these that's last right. days. And that's why we can come out here and speak so boldly. Because what? The Lord is dealing with us. The Lord ain't dealing with you. You got a feminine spirit on you. You're afraid to deal with truth. All right. And the truth is that we come from a lineage of oppressed, torn, destroyed people. So how do we get back built up? The Most High has to do that. Read what you got. The book of Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 1. Yeah. The wicked flee when no man pursue it. But the yeah. righteous are bold as a lion. But the righteous are what? Bold as a lion. So the, the righteous will be able to tell the white man he's the devil in his face. All right? Right. You have destroyed the earth. Right. You have corrupted everything on the planet. Right. And guess what? When Christ come on the scene, it's going to be the 12 tribes of Israel turn. All right? Yeah. Yeah. right. And no more corrupt governments. No more uh, sending trillions of dollars into Ukraine for right. war. No more your congressmen sell you out. No more of these evil things going on the earth. No more pouring chemicals in the damn uh, ocean anymore, all right? right? No more burning up and pulling all the oil, which is the, the lubrication out of the foundations of the earth anymore, okay? Right. No more starving nations on the planet earth. As right. long as the, key, the other nations keep the commandments, they're going to have mercy from the Lord. But not eat them. Not eat them. Not the so-called white man. That's you have right. been built for destruction. Right. Yes, I'm telling you this. 
Get me uh, uh, Romans 9 and 13. I'm going to tell you straight truth. All right? That's why you're so destructive now. All right? Come on. Read what you got. Uh, uh, only when you see, let's, let's just deal with a straight fact point. When you see a little young white, so-called white boy with a trench coat on walking back and forth in front of his school, what you think he about to do? He about to shoot that damn school up. That's right. That's what he about to do. Only the so-called white man would do something like that. Right. All right? I'm going to speak truth to you. All right? I know you mad. I don't give a damn. Read what you got. That's right. The book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 13. As it is written. Jacob have I love. We are Jacob, the 12 right, tribes of Israel. Right, the right. blacks and Spanish, the Native Americans. The ones you hate so much. Right. Come on. But Esau have I hated. And Esau is the so-called white man. You are the devil, according to the Bible. You have been, you are the vessel fit for destruction. Yes. All right, come on. And destruction is almost here. America is a company. You love America so much, America's going to be burned up in nuclear fire. Read. Right. Verse 14. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? Is there unrighteousness with God because he has one that he loves and one that he hates? Come on. God forbid. No. God can choose who he wants. That's right. He's the God. He can create. He created everything. Right. Come on. For he said unto Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. So now God said he will have mercy on who he will have mercy. I'm going to tone it down a little bit because I see the mighty brother with his son. I love seeing this. Darren, how you doing? Nice to meet you, Darren. Read that part again. Verse 14. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. But he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. Now, let's watch this. When the scriptures say, let's keep it in the context. We read in Romans 9. He says, I will have mercy on who I will have mercy. Right? He said, I said this to Pharaoh. So now let's look at the historical context. So when the children of Israel, when Moses split the sea and the children of Israel walked through the sea, right? The Lord is the one that used Moses to split the sea. And likewise, right after that, what happened, my brother? The Egyptians walked through it. And then once the Egyptians walked through it, what happened to the sea? No, it closed and killed all of them. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. So now, that's showing you the Lord having mercy on one nation, that's which right. is the children of Israel, right. and the Lord showing no compassion on another nation, which were the Egyptians at this time. Oh. That's right. Come on. That's right. The book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. We are Jacob. We are the 12 tribes of Israel. Come on. But Esau have I hate. The Esau is the so-called white man, all right? It's not It's not no hate campaign to say that, oh, we have a personal hatred for white people. No, we're going to call out what you did. You stole America. You built churches on it. You built courts on it. You talk about in God we trust. You put homosexuals in the classrooms to teach the children. That's right. To read children books to them with their crotch out. Right. All right. Gay VCs, uh, Adam and Steve, all right? These are evil things that they put. Planned Parenthood in the communities. That's how you know when you're in the hood. When you see the title loan place, the Planned Parenthood, the pawn shop, the liquor store, that's the, the beauty salon. But me, uh, uh, yeah, beauty supply with our, our sisters put that, that stuff in their head to show that they hate themselves. Right. Because if you loved yourself, you would keep the same hair that you wear that the Lord gave you. Uh, All right? So read it. Come on. Let's stay in the context. Read. Verse 14. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? Because God loves one nation, which is the 12 tribes of Israel. And God hates the other nations. Right. They are not his people. That's right. He has a chosen people. Come on. God forbid. The Bible says God forbid. Come on. But he said to Moses. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. He had mo- he had mercy on the twelve tribes of Israel, part in the That's sea, right. and he had he will have mercy on the twelve tribes of Israel in the last days. Come on, I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Come on. So then, is it is not of him that will will it, nor of him that run it, but of God. So meaning, no matter what you do, you cannot run from the Most High God's judgment.
happening behind us. The uh, Ishmael, the, uh, um, uh, the so-called white man is bombing the all hell out of them in Palestine. All right. Go ahead. The book of Psalms chapter 78 and verse 1. Give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. So you know what's so heavy about this? Hey, how you doing, my brother? You know what's so heavy about what we read? We, the, the Bible, listen to what the Bible just said. Read it again. Verse 1. Give ear, O my people, to my law. He said, the twelve tribes of Israel, give ear to my laws. Right? Come on. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. Incline your ears to this Bible. Right? So you have to understand something. Why is the Lord saying this in these last days? Because we have to be, we have to be restored, brother. You're looking at a destroyed, lost nation out here. That's the right. blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have been destroyed during captivity. When this happened to us, we were destroyed. When this happened, this happened to the so-called Native Americans too. Look, this happened to you too. This, when this happened to our people, the colonizers did it. Guess what? It destroyed our people mentally. That's right. We have mental hangups that we can that it's hard for us to get through. All right? Come on. Verse 3. Which we have heard and known and of our fathers have told us. We will not hide them from their children. You see that? He said we will not hide them from our children. So that means that it, this isn't a hate campaign. This isn't something to shock our people. But this is true. We must know what happened to us as a nation of people and what we must do to get out of this situation. Right. This is what God being mad at us looks like. Right. All right. But how does it look when God has favor on us? How does it look? I'm asking you, my brother, because I can tell you now, God having favor on us ain't these bills you're paying. God having favor on us is not you when you pull out your money, you got your oppressor's face on. Right. That's, right. Right. That's not what it looks like on favor. You got a bonus, you got you got a raise, you got a dollar raise, and you're happy. That's not what God's favor look like. That's right. Let me show you what God's favor look like. Well, let me show y'all. Give me Isaiah 14 and 1. I want to show you what God's favor look like. This is what God's wrath look like. And we still suffering the oppression from it. Because you know how you know we, know we still suffer from it? We're not in our own land. This is not our land. All right. This is not our land. We've been sent to this land to serve out punishment. That's right. And once we finish, the judgment is set and we're going back home, y'all. And That's guess what? Right. That's how you know God ain't come for all nations. That's right. Because when we go back home under that same premise, your oppressor will be ruling over you again. That's why they came up with this false image. Oh, Christ is white. No, Christ is not white. Christ is a man of color. That's right. Christ is a moreno. Negro. No el blanco. Christos, no el blanco. Come on. The book of Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. Let's show what favor look like when the Lord loves you. Let's show what favor look like. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. He will have mercy on Jacob. The 12 tribes of Israel. All right, come on. And will yet choose Israel. And he will yet choose Israel. Come on. And set them in their own land. We going back home. You know where your land is, my brother? No. You know where your land is, my brother? You don't know, right? Let's go to Hebrews 11 real quick. Bring it out. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 14. For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. You see that? We seek a country. Where is that country? It's Israel. That land is yours. That's why they fighting over it. I know you don't believe me. Stop right there. Go to Joel 3. I'm going to show you. Oh, yeah. Israel is all, all, all God's uh, uh, peoples, all his chosen. All who decide to be his chosen. Oh, so, who decides so, to be so, his so, chosen? So, what you mean? It's not, just, it's not just the Jews. It's not just. No, no, no. It's so, everybody. wait. Hold on. Let me ask you a question. Those people in Israel right now, are they the Jews? Well, you got two types of Jews. You got Messianic, watch this, watch you got messianic hold on, hold on. Jews, and then you have other types of Jews that are against God. Okay, hold on. Listen to me. That's why they're getting Okay, what, Okay, let me ask you this question then. Are any of God's Jews in the land now? There's been many that have returned back, but brother, I don't know look, if they're all good What's your Jews. name, brother? What's your name? Ray. Ray. You see, you ain't giving me a straight answer. I'm, I'm only let's try again. Let's try, let's try again. Okay. Are God's people in the land right now? 
I can't answer that because I don't know for sure. Okay, yeah. I'm going to tell you no. Right. And I'm going to prove it. Bring it out. Watch this. Read what you got. Joel 3. Joel 3. The book of Joel, chapter 3 and verse 1. Listen to this, my brother. I'm about to touch on some history. An unrefutable history. Come on. For behold, in those days, in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. The Lord said, when it says bring again the captivity, he means to turn around the captivity to Judah and Jerusalem. The biblical Jews, the lineage, the holy tribes, the, the royal lineage, the blood flows through their veins. Come on. I will also gather all nations. He will gather all nations, all the armies, all the powers of the earth. Come on. And will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. The valley of Jehoshaphat is the Middle East. Valley of decision. Megiddo. That's where all nations are at right now. Right. And don't you see we gather right now? Right. All right. Come on. And will plead with them. Therefore, my people. So how the Lord plead with them? Get Isaiah 66 and 15. How will the Lord plead with them? I'm going to ask you, what does he mean, plead with them? Do you think the Lord going to get on his knees and plead with them? No. Let's see. The book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword. By what? For by fire and by his sword will the Lord Plead with all flesh. That's how the Lord going to plead with them. That's right. Go, to, go back to uh, uh, Joel 3. Joel 3. You know what I want. Come on. Joel chapter 3 verse 2. I will also gather all nations. He going to bring all nations to the valley of Jehoshaphat to fight. You see what's going on? That's how I know you don't know what you're talking about. Because the Bible is going against what you just said. Right. Come on. I will also gather all nations and will bring them. Down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. The valley of decision. And will plead with them. What does that mean to plead? Biblical reference, my brother. What's it mean to plead? I just read it. Fight. Yes. That's Fire right. and by sword. All right. Come on. Let's make it modern. Guns and weapons and bombs. Right. That's right. Right. Yep. Come on. Bring the sin. And will plead with them and there for my people. For who? For my people. I thought his people was over there already. Mm, you gotta live there, everybody. <laughs> no, no. That's what you don't get. You love everybody. You know how you, you know, watch this. I'm gonna show you something heavy. You hate yourself. That's right. Because this happened to your people. Right. And I'm talking about your people, and you're talking about everybody. There's a deep seated psychological hate for ourselves right. because we think we can't do nothing without the white man right. and without the other nations. He going into captivity just like the white man right. That's right. when Christ comes. Right. He had his chance. Right. His kingdom is over there in Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Dubai. That's their kingdom. And the white man hates them too, but they are enemies too. Come on. And will plead with them there for my people and my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations. That's how I know you don't know what you're talking about. Who they have been what? Whom they have scattered among the nations. They scattered us amongst the nations. That's right. That's how we came. Come on. And then after they scattered us and we was in captivity and chains and they changed our last names, then what did they do? And parted my land. The Arabs and the white man fighting over your land. That's, That's right. right. Give me Revelation 2 and 9. Don't Bring play with me. Bring it out. You don't know these scriptures. Come over here and learn. Give me Revelation 2 and 9. I'm going to hit the nail right on the head. Listen to me, brother. Listen to me. You the Jew. That's right. You the Jew, young That's man. Right. You the real Jews. That's and you the northern kingdom that was scattered. That's from right. falling at the idolatry. Right. Come on. You know your pastors will charge you for this? Right. Come on. Right. Revelation chapter 2 verse 9. Bring it out. I know thy works and tribulation. The most I said, I know all the works you've done, all the kingdoms you built, right. and I know all the hell you've been catching in this captivity. Right. Right. Come on. And poverty. In this lower state. 
Brian is a poverty. Is right. College Station poverty or is Brian poverty? Thank you. Come on. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Why are you rich? Because the royal lineage that pumps through your veins is the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. Humble down. You the Jews. You the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. Come on. And I know the blasphemy. And I know the lie. That's what blasphemy means. I know the lie. Come on. Of them. Of who? Of them. That what? Which say they are the Jews. They say they the Jews and what? And are not. Are you reading in red letters my, not, not right now, my brother? Yes, sir. Is what you reading in red letters meaning that Christ said it? Yes, sir. Read that last part again. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. The Zionists that are fighting over your land. And are not. They are not the Jews. They just That's got the right. power and money to fight over your land. That's right. Come on. But are the synagogue of Satan. You see that? They the synagogue of Satan. Watch this. I'm going to show you something, my brother. Watch this. Watch it. You see me took this key out of my pocket, right? Watch it. You put your hand on this key. Go ahead. Me and you. Just back and forth. Come on. Just back and forth. Like this. Like this. Watch it. Now watch this. Can we really fight over something that belonged to me? Alright, let go. This is my keys. That's you know right. Yeah. So let's read it again. Bring Why are they fighting over the land if it don't belong to none of them? That's right. That's right. Come on. I know that works. And tribulation. And poverty. But thou art rich. That's right. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. But are the synagogue of Satan. They are the synagogue of Satan. That's, That's right. why we say the white man's the devil. Right. They stole that land. Right. They took your last names and they called themselves the Jews. You the Jews. You the royal lineage. You the people of God. That's Let's right. prove that even more. Let's go to uh, Hebrews 7 and 14. I'm going to switch the game with Hebrews 7 and 14. I want you to listen close to this, my brother. You love Christ. Do you love Christ? Yes, sir. You uh, get, Let me bring one precept out, and I'm going to give you the flow. All yeah. right, my brother? Yeah. Come on. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. Bring it out. For it is evident. It is evident. What does that word mean, evident? What does evident mean? Factual. Factual. I like that. How about you, my brother? What does evident mean? True. What does evident mean? Evident? Yes. The things that you can see. Right. Come on. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, sprang out of Judah. That's right. Come on. Sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. You see that? Which tribe Moses spoke nothing pertaining to priesthood. This is the point. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Look, brother, don't get distracted. Watch this. Look. The... The white man pushes this in the world that this is what Christ looks like. Right? So now, what history, chronological evidence, right. and also, too, with uh, dealing with, uh, uh, what they call that? How you can explain the map? Geography. Yes, sir. Right, yes, sir. We have proven that the Jews are not in the land right now. They are imposters, right? That's right. Oh, we don't want to call it, my brother? So now, they came up with this. Right. To further the deceit. That's right. right. Christ, the when you... Of the Church, yes. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. Rest. Caesar Boshir, right. the Pope's son. Right. Alex, uh, you understand? It started, what? it started with Nimrod. Nimrod pushed that with the baby in the manger and all that. Right, 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 right. Christ was born during the Passover. But let's That's stick right. on the point of Christ. When is so, Passover? Passover. You want to know when is Passover? Jesus was probably born, born on September 11th. No. So listen, let's go to uh, Revelation. I mean, yeah, Revelation 114. <laughs> let's prove that what? Christ is not a white man according to the out. Bible. Bring Come on. Out. He's not. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. Bring it out. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So now let's look. This hair is stringy. This hair is woolly. We're not saying this is exactly Christ's face. Right. But we're saying this is a more accurate depiction of what Christ looked like. But it, right. All right. It also Hold says on. <laughs> Come on. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Come on. As white as snow. White as and, snow. And, and his this, eyes? This is, not, this is not white as snow. What does his eyes right. look like? It says white as snow. Come on. 
and his eyes oh. were as a flame of fire. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Is this a what? Is this, is this a flame of fire or is this a uh, blue? blue? Right, come on. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. The Bible is letting you know Christ's feet was anything you take in bra brass is brown already. Anything you put in a furnace is, turns what color? Reddish. No. Or, or, or white. Well, no. Like okay. Your wife flame. ever burn like, some? Like your flame. wife ever burn some rice? Uh. You ever burn some chicken on the grill? Yeah, yeah. What color does it turn? Does it turn more it reddish? Turns dark. Thank you. Yeah. It turns black. That's right. That's right. The Bible is letting you know, and the scriptures that we already went through just said that Christ is a black man. That's right. He's a Mediterranean a, man. Why are you saying that when we just reading the scriptures saying that it was? He may not be white, but oh he's my not God! What you see this? Him. You see this? Do you see this? You know that's speaking in he's, hyperbole, well, well, right? Well, he's, he's, when it's talking so about watch his it, feet, watch it. Let's listen. To this. Let's listen to this thing. What you just said? Let's go to Daniel ten and six. Yes, sir. Let's go to Daniel ten and six. Jesus. Hey, brother, we appreciate your time, my brother. I just want Daniel Jesus. ten and six. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Jesus, the book of Daniel. It's gonna be of the uh, of the. Uh, of one of the tribes, like you said, he's right. He's a he's a right. he's a Jew. Right. So right. he's gonna right. love Jewish. You can give me Jeremiah first. Come on, he's gonna look Jewish. Jeremiah. But the father, the father. Jeremiah the chapter fourteen, father. verse two. Listen, no. to, listen, listen to this, brother. Listen to this. Je oh, Judah mourning. Listen, brother. Judah is in mourning. The real Jews are in mourning. Come on. Judah mourning. In the gates thereof, language. The pastors don't know the scriptures. The pastors are whoremongers and love money. Come on. They are black. Unto the ground. The Jews are black unto the ground. That's right. What that mean? Unto the ground. Give me Genesis 2 and 7. Well, black unto the ground. All right. Come on. Where was that at again? Jeremiah 14 and 2. Jeremiah 14. Somebody give me a handful of dirt right there behind us. The book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. And the Lord God born man of the dust of the ground. The dust of the ground is dirt. That's right. Come on, give me some dirt, y'all. Give some dirt. Yeah, we came from the ground. That's evident. See, see, look, 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 look. Read it again. Every element in the And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. You see that? The Lord found formed man from the dust of the ground. That's so right. ain't no ground you see is white. Yeah. Right. They have white sands of water. You see this, brother? That's you see this, brother? <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Thank I, you. I don't want to make this a racial or color issue, but hey, Jesus, look, look. Jesus, let me say, let me say this, bro. Nobody knows. When this happened to you, like... when this happened to you, it became a racial or color thing. When this all happened this to you, this happened. This, right. happened, this all became all this a racial or color thing. Right. right. But our people must get their heads out the white man's ass right. Right. and not we're be not, afraid to say the white man is not God and he is not the Jews. That's And we are the twelve tribes of Israel. Men leading by example. Nation is family.